Hello everyone, Mr. Nacho here and today I wanted to share with you not necessarily a build but more of a template within which you can create your own build to suit your playstyle the, the best. So the basis of our build is the handler as a prime archetype simply because it has the bonded perk which will allow you to pick up yourself or one of your allies on a 90 second cooldown. This is incredibly useful whenever you are playing with your friends or even a bunch of randoms, simply because people tend to die a lot in the apocalypse difficulty. The other nice thing is the spirit of the wolf, which will increase your movement speed by 10%, and all allies within 10 meters of the handler will gain handler's movement speed. And also, it reduces the stamina cost of all actions for allies by 15%. On top of that, we will have the trait Swiftness, which will increase our movement speed by further 15%. So we will, be just by being there, will increase the movement speed of our allies by 25%. This is very nice since this will make it much easier for them to run out of danger, to dodge the attacks or just to traverse the world in general. When it comes to the armor, we are using the Crimson Guard set. And when it comes to the relic, I chose the Tranquil Heart with the ranged crit chance, crit damage and the skill cooldown. If you want to be a little bit less tanky, you can go with the fire rate or ranged damage. And then instead of Matthew's Tonic, you would use the Xenoplasm to reduce the skill cooldowns by 10%. So this is a decision that you have to make. In general, we want to be at 75% skill cooldown, which is the current cap. You can't go higher than that. And we also have plus 15% skill duration. When it comes to the weapon, I chose the Blackmo AR-47 with corrosive rounds and momentum simply because this is the highest DPS that we can get without too much investment. Then when it comes to melee, we have the world's edge with steadfast and the logic is the same, the most DPS without any investment. And when it comes to the handgun, we are using Enigma with extender on it, simply because it's great with dealing with adds or the orbs at the annihilation fight. It's just a very useful tool for dealing with groups of mobs. When it comes to the jewelry, we are using the new amulet legacy protocol, which actually makes this build possible. It reduces the skill cooldowns by 20% and increases skill duration by 15%. Previously to get, get to the cap of skill cooldowns, we had to use all four rings to get to the as little cooldown as possible and the concoction on top of that. But right now we have two ring slots that are free that we will slot in Probability Cord and Xenia's Malice just to increase our damage. The build itself does around 3k DPS, so it's a decent standalone build, but where it shines is whenever you are playing with two other people. So this is more, more of a offensive support build rather than just a solo build even though it holds up its own end. And the last ring that we are using is the Black Pawn Stamp for the flat 10% cooldown reduction. When it comes to the secondary class, there are a lot of choices that you can make. The most optimal would be to use Alchemist, simply because there is a ton of synergy between Handler and Alchemist. But in general, if you want to be an offensive support, you will go with the Attack Dog and the Vile Frenzy Dust. And the bonus of it is that the attack dog will last for 23 seconds and the cooldown on it is 22.5 seconds. So you will have a permanent 20% additional damage for all of your teammates, no matter what kind of build they are using. If they are using dots, mods, skills, ranged damage, melee damage, all of this will be increased by 20%. You will be a great addition to any team and it will be 20% for everyone. So for you and for two other teammates, which would be 60% increased damage permanently. You could alternatively go with the support dog to increase your and your allies movement speed by two further 25%. So we would move 50% faster than normal and this would be shared with everyone. And on top of that, they would heal 2% of their max HP per second and it will last 28 seconds and the cooldown is 22 seconds. And the last one would be the guard dog, which will make it so that the dog generates more aggro and it itself takes less damage. And on top of that, whenever you use the ability, it will reduce damage by 15% to all allies within 20 meters. So, and it also lasts 23 seconds and it has a cooldown of 22.5 seconds. So you can support your allies in whatever way they need, 
I would mostly recommend support dog or the attack dog simply because the attack dog will just give you damage which is something that you will always use. The support dog in the worst case scenario will just give you movement speed. If no one gets hit then the HP regeneration doesn't matter. But the guard dog is only whenever you take damage then it only gets some value. And then you can combo it with the vials. The Vile Stone Mist, it will reduce incoming damage by 25% and reduce stagger by 1 and also make your allies immune to status effect. So no one can get set on fire, no one can bleed and so on. So let's say that these two combined, Stone Mist and the Guard Dog, will give additional 40% damage reduction to all of you in the team. This is an insane amount and it will also make the dog gather more aggro so the adds will be more likely to attack the dog instead of any one of you when it comes to support dog you can just get some more healing and then on top of that have the vile elixir of life which will grant five health regeneration for everyone and it lasts 23 seconds and has a cooldown of 22.5 seconds so it will be permanent five hp regeneration and what's nice about it, it is it also works for the dog. So if you apply the vile elixir of life to the dog as well, it will just have five extra HP regeneration. So it really won't be able to go down at all. The frenzy dust is nice as well. Also with the support dog, because it further increases not only fire rate, reload speed and melee speed, but also movement speed by 15%. So this would be cumulatively 65% increased movement speed that you will share with everyone that's around you. Or you can just go with Vile Frenzy Dust and then Attack Dog to increase everyone's damage by 20% and their fire rate, reload speed and melee speed by 20% as well. So this would be 20% multiplicative and this would be 20% additive damage in general. The other class that works really well is the Ritualist with the Miasma skill because it lasts 20 seconds and the cooldown on it is 11.25 seconds. So your allies can freely use and you yourself as well a Honey Crystal which will be 20% multiplicative damage for them for free as well. And they will also be able to use the Abrasive Whetstone or the Nightweaver's Grudge for free as well. You will put up all of the status effects and they will reap all of the benefits. Another class that works really well with this is Hunter with the Hunter's Mark because it will last 30 seconds and it will have a cooldown of 17.5 seconds. But it will grant every single person in the team 15% increased crit chance, which is also very, very nice. If you want to just increase your own DPS and play solo, you can do that with the bullet storm ability. It will last for 23 seconds and it will have a cooldown of only 15 seconds. Or if you want to go full support without really any offensive perks, you can go with healing shield and support dog to just heal your allies all the time and not make them go down. Uh, also, you can mix and match so you can have the healing shield up and then the attack dog, so you have some defense, some offense. This is really a very versatile setup that you can use for whatever the team really needs. And the last class that works quite decently with this setup is the engineer, since we'll get 30% skill damage from the handler, and we'll get 50% skill damage from the engineer. So our turret and our dog will deal even more damage and you can choose whichever one you prefer. The nice thing about the cooldown reduction is that it increases the speed at which the ammo is regenerated for the turret whenever it's stowed. So it will regenerate 4% every second. So you will have a full turret every 25 seconds, no matter which one you use. So whenever it goes down, 25 seconds, you can put it up again and have it shoot the enemy. This will be a very low maintenance build since you just rely on your pets and then deal some damage yourself. When it comes to the traits, it basically depends on which secondary class you will use because if, for example, if you use the engineer or the medic, you will have those for free. But let's assume that you are running ritualist and you don't have any of them. Then you want to go for the Fortify to increase the armor effectiveness. You want to go for Regrowth to have more HP regeneration. Then you want to have three points in Strong Back if you are using the same armor as I am to have a mid dodge. Then you have 10 points in Swiftness, 10 points in Triage to get even more healing, 10 points in Vigor to have as much HP as possible, 10 points in Expertise to reduce the cooldowns by 20%. 
Then you have 10 points in Blood Bond, which will give you another 10% of the damage reduction. And then you have Rugged, which will double your summon's life. And the last one is six points into Bark Skin. So this would be all for the introduction. I hope that you liked it. Be warned, in the clips I will use dif different classes, different secondary archetypes, depending on the fight and depending on what my teammate is doing. So I will show you the versatility. I just hope that you will enjoy the clips and have a great day.